Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy, and we have an unboxing from White Mountain Knives. Uh, thanks to the person that gave me the heads up that they were back in stock. This is the Koenig Mini Goblin in for review and sharpening, so watch out for that review and sharpening video. I have not opened this yet, I just took it out of the box from White Mountain Knives. So, one reason why I really wanted to check this one out was because it looked like they had... One, I thought it looked really cool. It just looks like a badass knife. But besides that... Let me get the rag for the oil. But besides that, um, the micarta. The micarta looked like a better quality micarta than what Tucson has been putting out in the past. Nice detent. Tucson usually does have um, pretty good detents. Now this one is in 14C28N steel, and I like Tucson's 14C28N steel. Beautiful sharpening choil. Look at that plunge grind way back there. They gave you all of that life from here to the tip of the edge to sharpen. Very nice. Now this isn't my favorite blade shape, but the Ergos, man, that, that feels very nice in the hand. Nice, uh, straightforward, um, you know, handle grip that is very neutral. Um, and you have this little spot right there for your finger. Let's look at this seam. Man, that seam is so well done. Look at that seam. I don't even know there's a difference. I really cannot feel the difference. Wow, that's pretty cool. And this micarta looks almost like a white micarta. Um, some of the white micarta I've seen like on my Shuro is just like that. The micarta does seem pretty good. I notice we have some TH back here. Looks like we have one. Is that a T6? I think that's a T6, but that's probably just for the inlay. No weight relief because, you know, you have this big weight relief cut right here for the inlay. Oh, I wasn't expecting that kind of clip i do not like these kind of, oh well that one doesn't actually feel too bad this one might not be bad usually they're so strong and i don't like ball clips but we'll see how it goes i'm not going to complain yet the geared backspacer looks really good on it now let's really check this action out very nice the thumb stud deployment is really nice Reverse flick. Look at these thumb studs. They are the blade stop as well. Man, those are some really good looking thumb studs. I know it's up higher than the scale, which makes you have such good amount of, or just a really good amount of leverage and access to them. Now, there is not a cutout for the lock bar, but it's very easy. I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, then you'll notice they have this little cutout right here, left-handed, very easy. The cutout right there, that's the screws for the steel lock bar insert because this is all titanium. Lockup looks very solid. This, the fit and finish work looks really good. Very, very solid. I love Two Sons, man. They, they, they're so solid, man. They're just rock solid and, um... Great fit and finish work, especially for the price. What did I pay for this? I don't even remember now. Um, it wasn't too bad, though, because it's 14C 28M blade steel. Look at that satin finish with the stone wash. Now, I do have one complaint already. And I don't like to complain in my first impressions, but this is something that's kind of well known. Their satin finish from Tucson uh, for their 14C28N specifically, it gets so fingerprinty. I don't know why they even use it. Now, does it look good from off the bat? Yeah, I mean, usually. I mean, right now the camera's going crazy every time I try to show you. But it normally looks really good for the first couple days um, or for the first while, but they polish it way too much. And what winds up happening is it makes it to where 
It is super fingerprinty, super scratchy, super everything. And for some reason, their S90V doesn't do that. Their M390 doesn't do that. The Micarta, I'm not going to say it's great quality, but it's definitely a step up from their other Micarta. It's definitely way better than some of the other Micarta I've seen from Tucson. I was... Uh, saying I wasn't impressed is an overstatement. I didn't, their, my card in the past was just crap. This is way, way better, way better. So happy with the, my card. I'm sure it will patina and oil up. You can see this side a little darker than this side. So eventually this side will look like this side. We'll see how that clip winds up going. Geometry feels very nice. This feels extremely slicey. They did put a good edge on there too. Um, the jimping is very grippy. I mean, extremely grippy. And this is, I wouldn't, <sighs> this blade shape, it's kind of a big bellied, a big bellied clip point, a buoy blade. Uh, it's kind of got a harpoon here too. And if you get your finger behind this harpoon, you really are locked in, man. This is, ve I'm very locked in right here. I mean, this is solid. Um, yeah, this is going to be a great cutter. I can already tell. Uh, you know, with this, this is almost a full flat. Might as well be a full flat. This thing's going to slice like a beast. The only thing, my problem with clip points, especially the kind with this swoop where it swoops up, I don't mind the clip points. They sh go down. It's the ones that poke back up like this one does. Now, the reason why is because now, in order for me to get to the tip, I go all the way up here like this. I, even down here, uh, right there is where I, I begin to start hitting it. Anywhere else, I'm hitting the belly. So in order for me to get a utility cut, I really got to... I got to basically stop myself from having good leverage because good leverage comes from here going, pulling straight back. The more you lift up, the less leverage you have pulling backwards and down into the material at the same time. But this one seems like it'll probably be okay. Um, just not the best. It almost seems like you just flip it over and do it backwards, right? <laughs> like this. It's I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, the re review will be coming soon. And yeah, two sons, man, they're, they're doing a great job. Um, now let's check this detent really quick. Okay. So the detent is relatively early and they always put in, um, the detent ramps. Well, this one's so early. I can't get that. There we go. You can swing past the, the detents because they have the, the cutout or the, the ramp for, you know, when you unlock it, when it gets back up on the detent ball, it's very easy. And I can already tell this thing is breaking in really nicely already, um, smoothening out. And after I, you know, put some good old KPL on it and play with it a little bit, it will definitely get really, really smooth. It's already very smooth. Now the detent is kind of strong, nice centering by the way, but since the thumb studs are so big, I can easily slow roll it, but if you ever wanted to, but it is kind of set up for the flick. Pretty strong detent in a good way. So there you guys go. There's my first impressions on this new Tucson. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.